spiel. I heard this week, uh, if you are easily offended, you are easily manipulated. And there's this idea in bhakti yoga that we should take no offense. They're always saying that, take no offense, take no offense. That the yogi should take insult nor compliment very seriously because it can pull us off the path. And what it means is it embellishes the strength of the ego when somebody compliments you or insults you, right? So the ego is the eye maker or the thing that makes sense of the world around us and our place in it. It's necessary sometimes, right? Just like we need an ID or a driver's license to get around in our culture. You need to be able to identify me. Right? If I'm about to get hit by a bus or something, you want to call out my name and tell me I'm in trouble. And so you say, hey, Amanda. But the problem comes when we put all of our eggs of identity in one basket. It means we have to protect that identity at all odds. So if someone insults it, it means they could, they're very well insulting your entire existence when we identify with just the identity, the external identity. But when it comes to the external form, we're never actually one thing in reality that we could really um, protect in that way. So when we get like that, it's actually just a fallacy of mind that's causing us suffering. Right. My identity to my daughter is mama. My identity to my father is daughter. My identity to my husband is wife. My identity to you guys is teacher, right? Often an external identity is based in perception from others and how we relate to that perception. But the yogis say you, quote unquote, in actuality are none of these things. They are merely roles that the true you are playing at from time to time. And the role switches and it changes. And what's real doesn't change. So that's how we know. It doesn't fit into that equation of, you know, real, sustaining, forever truth. So the real you is beyond identity. It's permanent. An identity created by the ego is not. So when it's said, if you are easily offended, you are easily manipulated, it's meant that if you are offended, you are globbed on, you are attached to your ego identity. And from that place of defensiveness, you have something to prove, something to protect, and a lot is at stake. It will make you easy to shake, easy to conquer, easy to manipulate, easy to bend, because you, you become dependent upon the opinion of others. And that's really no way to live, right? It's a really difficult place to be in. So the yogi gathers its strength from a natural non-attachment that rises up from identifying with what's true in us, a pure undying consciousness inside, a consciousness that we are taught is untouched by the material world, unbreakable. So if we are seeking validation, look within yourself rather than to other people. Right? If you're seeking peace, look within yourself. Don't look outside. Like if you get enough money, if you find the lover, if you buy the house or whatever, instead look inside to find that peace. If you're seeking strength, it's the same story. Look within, tap in, and you'll realize that the world outside will never be able to pull you from your path when you're really yoked in yoga, yoked to the inner self rather than all the external selves that you know we gather up as the days go by so you can take a moment <laughs> 